Hi guys, a very warm welcome from Ajithi Creations in our lesson 4 of Dark Mandala. In today's lesson, we will be creating a beautiful painting using this particular MDF. Now, if I have to tell you the dimensions, so the diameter is approximately 15 centimeters and this is a 2 to 3 mm thick. Now, I'll be doing my base coat followed by a black acrylic color. Do good 2 to 3 coats of black acrylic color so that it is ready for doing our dot mandala. Let me do my black acrylic color coats and show. So now I have painted my piece black and it is ready. I have just marked my center point. So this is my center point. Now we are going to draw circles with various radius here. First we are going to draw a circle with a 3 cm radius. I am not going to draw it very dark but I am going to be drawing it with my white color pencil. Next 4 cm. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the uh, 5 circles. Inner part also we will draw 1 circle 2 cm to just give us reference. Now what we are going to do is take your white pencil. If you have taken the base as uh, black or you have drawn it as black. Just mark a line here. Okay. Why I am doing that is just to get an idea of 0 degrees so just pay place your put protractor and we are going to mark our degrees now this grid we are going to be making so just make a grid of 10 centimeter oh sorry 10 degrees make a grid of 10 degrees Now just connect So let's go, just make your grip Ready. Now we are going to start. Let us, let us now take out our colors. Now you can use any colors of your choice here. I will be doing very vibrant colors and we will be starting with a white dot in the center. So just take your white. So here I am taking the 8 mm. First, we are going to make Now, we are going to do thin dots using our thinnest line and dotting to it Okay, this way, we are done with white Now Next, we are going to do with yellow. So, let us take out our yellow. Okay, first is going to be the same size. Next, we will go to a little thicker dot. So now we have done a little thicker. Now I am going to do 
one line now of uh, two, 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 two lines or three lines of orange. Now start doing in the middle part. So this way we've done orange. Now we'll go to a little bigger size. So I'm gonna go for my wooden sticks. The thinnest one is 3 mm. So I'm gonna go for my 3 mm one. So this way we've done a thick line of orange. Now what we are going to do is we are going to start our first line of red. Red is going to be of the same size now. Now here I have not taken my striking red but I have taken a crimson color. And I'm going to do this on this 3 cm line. So till now we were doing it in the inner circle. Now we started on the outer circle so it's just start it onto your line of 3 cm so see, this is looking so beautiful now now we are going to take our red dot I'm going to take my red color and this. I'm going to go in for a little bigger dot than this so this was 3 mm now we are going to go in for something bigger, we can go in for 4 or 5 mm. Same red color. Now in this, between this, we are going to give this dot. Follow no two lines, one one line in between and keep making these bigger dots. Now this way we have done this. Now comes the fun part. Now we are going to now do small dots around this using our white color. Now you can do any color if you want. If you like yellow you can also do it using yellow. But now we have to use this. I will be using this. On this dot on this line of uh, that we have the circle draw these white dots now we are going to do tapers around it so that the gaps are filled so just use the same Now we've done tapers on one side, I'm going to do the same on the other.
Now we have done our first circle. So this way we've done our table around. Now I have taken my metallic bronze and I'm taking the same color, the same uh, number which I have taken inside that is my 4 ml and I'm going to do a circle here. Let us come to our next part. Now for the next part, we are going to use our white as the inner belt. So just open your white. Here, I am taking a little thicker one. Like right here, we took a 5. You can either take the same size or you can maximum going for a 5.5. I'm going to And we will be doing dots. Now, on the line, I am doing a dot. And I'm just leaving 30 degrees in between. Okay, just leave 30 degrees in between and do the dot. That is the reason why this grid is important. So now this way I have drawn. Then I have had a distance of 30 degrees. We are now first taking the thinnest one and we are going to do a tapering dot around these. Now as in this there will be a little difference as we do. So let me just finish this intro. So now we've done this. Now I'm taking a teal blue, any light blue or teal blue color you can take. Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is looking nice with the teeth. Now we can take any blue color. Now here I'm taking an ultra I will just mix these two and make a little lighter shade of ultra because this dark will not look so nice onto this black. So just I will mix and show you the color. 
So now I have made my little lighter blue. Now what we are going to be doing is that we will be doing a slight variation in this. Now instead of doing the dot, the bigger dot, I'm going to do the bigger dot on both these sides here. We will do tapering in the top. I will make uh, so now we are going to use this blue. So this way we have done a different style of dotting. Now take your bronze color. Now, so this way we have done a bronze color all around. Now, in between the points, in between, we are going to do, let us now do with the white color. Now, at the intersection points of these, we are going to mark a dot outside. This I have taken 6 mm. Okay, right here, mark a dot. Now first line I'm not doing any tapering. Same size dots.
Now we will count the yellow. For yellow, we are going to do tapering dots. Now in the center, take a four in and create your dot. Now use Now I have done my red dots all around. Now what we are going to do is create big dots of white in the center area and then taper it to the corners. Like this. Okay, let me show you. Big dots in the center, like we did inside.
Now we are going to do our last bit using our bronze color. So now in this way you can see that our super beautiful display piece is done. See how beautiful it is looking. Now once it is dry I'm gonna put it on my mini easel for display. You can also hang it. Now to secure it further, once this is completely dry it is gonna take approximately a few hours. Just take your spray and do a spray of clear varnish so that your piece is completely red. So do create your own. Do share with me what color combinations did you use for creating your display piece. Do like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the notification button so that you can be notified as soon as we put a new video or our live on our channel. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.